hey guys good morning um welcome back to my channel if you are tuning in for the very first time and this is your very first time seeing my face welcome my name is tamisha and my channel is a mouthful and here i love to share recipes and everything food related with you guys so i wanted to pop on real quick um, just to give you guys a couple of disclaimers because once you get into the actual um, grocery haul, some things are going to look a little sketch <laughs> and I wanted to explain why. So if you are watching and you watched my previous video, which was my kitchen cleanup, then you will already know that this video is part two of three videos which were originally intended to be one video <laughs> okay so i had to break up a very long video which is what i was um i was really wanting to record a full day in my kitchen where i was going to do a kitchen cleanup show you guys what i was cooking for the day what we were eating as well as giving you guys my walmart and my aldi grocery haul so i filmed it all in one video but when it came time to edit <laughs> um, it was not happening because i did not have enough storage as you guys know i record all of my videos on my cell phone on my iphone and it's been two years now um, that i've been doing that and it's time to get a camera. <laughs> it's time to get a camera. You know, I was trying to go as long as I possibly could without purchasing one. Um, so, I mean, I don't plan on getting one anytime in the very near future with everything that's going on. I'm trying to conserve as much as possible, but um, soon, <laughs> soon I will have um, the proper equipment so that I don't have to be breaking these videos up for you guys. But also, I wanted to say today is Wednesday, um, March 25th, and I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, Mecklenburg County. Effective tomorrow morning, March 26th at 8 a.m., we are going into a 21-day shelter in place um, for our county. So when I did this grocery haul, which was actually two days ago, I shopped on Monday, filmed it yesterday and now you're seeing it today. <laughs> um, but when I did that grocery haul, I knew that it was coming. Um, they hadn't announced it yet, but there was a lot of talk about it because obviously um, much of the country is moving to that as well. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I was buying enough items to last us at least two weeks. Um, I'm gonna try to stretch it out as much as I can to three weeks. Um, but I'm not really sure. We're going to do our best to get it to last that long. I may possibly need to try to do a um, grocery pickup somewhere um, closer to the end of those 21 days. Um, we can go out to the grocery store. You can go to the grocery store. You can go to doctor's appointments and stuff like that. And you can also go, you know, exercise and go for your walks and everything. But everything else is shut down. Okay. Rightfully so, because... I, I'd rather take those extra precautions so that we all can, you know, just heal um, as a people and get better, you know, so I'm, I'm all about that. Shut it down. Okay, shut it down. <laughs> all right, so I don't want to ramble much longer. I hope that you guys enjoy this grocery haul. Um, the first part is Aldi and the next part is um, Walmart. I also hope that you guys are staying safe and healthy, protect yourselves and protect your families. And you know, if you're spending all of your time indoors, just like we are, you know, also look out for your sanity <laughs> as well as your spirit and making sure that you keep your mental health, you know, um, keep your mental health intact as well. So I will be thinking about all of you guys and let's get right into this video. All right guys, so now it's time for the grocery haul um take two <laughs> because like i told you we put everything up last night so we just took the time to take everything back out so we're going to start with um aldi first so with aldi i ended up spending 170 dollars at aldi um and i'm so happy that i went there first because aldi was actually pretty much completely stocked um aldi was my first stop and then i went to Walmart and while all they had pretty much everything um, in stock with the exception of meat they weren't fully stocked on meat but that was okay um, so 170 at Aldi I'm gonna start right here first and show you all my cold items 
and frozen items from Aldi. Um, I'll try to refer back to the receipt as much as possible, but I don't want to hold up too much time. Um, so I did get some um, hash browns right here. Um, these were $3.29 for 20 hash brown patties. Also got a bag of frozen raspberries and a bag of frozen strawberries to make smoothies with. Um, I believe these were like $1.89. I got um, two things of frozen um, green beans, frozen corn, and frozen mixed vegetables just to keep in our freezer. With everything going on, I'm just trying to be as stocked as possible. Normally, we like to buy um, fresh um, produce, but I'm going for canned and frozen in this haul. So these were 79 cents each. I also picked up some um, biscuits as well as some pie crust. I believe the pie crust was like a dollar nine cent. And these were around a dollar um, for the biscuits. Um, I um, bought some soy milk for my son. Um, my daughter and I cannot drink soy milk, but he can. And out of, I've been trying actually <laughs> to not buy regular milk as much as possible anyway um, for him, but he can't stand <laughs> plant-based milk. But we tried soy milk for the first time and he liked it. So I went ahead and picked up two of these. Um, I got this too because um, they have a longer, um, they, they stay in the refrigerator and keep a lot longer than regular milk. So these were $1.99 each uh, um, for the organic soy milk. I also picked up some creamer. You guys know I told you about that <laughs> earlier. Um, he likes to have creamer for his coffee. Um, he likes to have, he likes to have um, coffee for his creamer is what I'm saying. But this is the white chocolate mocha. This is $1.79. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if I can find the price for this real quick. I know these weren't that much. Um, I also got two packs each, uh, one pack of the, um, oven roasted turkey breast, and then another one of the oven roasted, um, chicken breast. These are one pound and I'm trying to skim real quick on my receipts. Uh, okay. So these were $2.95 for one pound packages. Um, normally we like to get like the deli, um, deli, um, meat from our grocery stores, like Publix or whatever, but $2.95 for one pound, we're riding with that, um, this month. <laughs> so I got a pack of the Swiss, um, sandwich slices, as well as a pack of the Munster for sandwiches. I also got, um, some pepper jack block cheese, as well as some mild cheddar. These were $1.79 as well as the sliced sandwiches. I got a big thing of um, just plain um, vanilla. Is this vanilla? No, just plain um, light yogurt. My daughter picked this out. She likes to have this with granola and some fruit. Um, I also got a thing of cottage cheese. I've been loving this lately with some um, crushed pineapples. We got banana pepper rings for salads. We eat a lot of salad, so we like to have that on there. Um, I also got um, two things of the um, mild Italian sausage. These were $2.49 each. Um, I think I talked about this before. These are the um, breakfast sandwiches, the breakfast croissant sandwiches, the sausage, egg, and cheese. Let me see if I can skim the receipt for this real quick. Um, let's see. Okay, so these were $2.49. 95 cent for four sandwiches. Now, normally my kids like the, what? Are, okay, they started off like in the Jimmy Dean. You get four in a pack and you guys know those are like five or $6 each for um, the box of four. Then we switched over to the Walmart um, box, which was like, um, I think $3 and 95 cent. But guys, these are $2.95. <laughs> so I went ahead and grabbed two boxes of those for them. Also got some bell peppers as well. And then I got this big thing. This was $3 and some change um, for this big thing of organic spring mix for our salad. So could not beat that. And then um, back here, remember I told you guys, we are, <laughs> we're just, I'm showing you stuff that we already put up. I picked up a few bananas. I have some already in the freezer for banana bread and smoothies, but my daughter wanted just a couple more bananas. This were 38 cent a pound. Um, the blackberries were 99 cent each. I also got this pineapple. This was a dollar and 80 cents. And then I got, um, this is an old mango that needs to go in the trash, but I got a bag. It was a three pound bag of the oranges, which was $2 and 49 cents. 
And then I also got a bag of lemons, which was like $2 and some change as well. So let me go over to the table and show you guys the... Okay, so I got a 12 pack of the citrus green tea. This was $3.99. I got four of the cans of black beans and two cans of black eyed peas. These were 49 cents each and you were allowed to get um, four of each cans. I got a can of cream of chicken and a can of cream of mushroom just to stay um, on stock in case we need it. I also got three things of eggs. Um, three was the, the max limit that you can grab. These were $1.32 each. I also got a thing of grits because we have oatmeal but no grits. And some mornings I just want some grits. So um, I got a 12 pack of the citrus twist soda just to keep in our pantry in case anybody just feeling like they want something sweet and fizzy. Um, I got a thing of chili powder and a thing of steak seasoning just because um, I like to buy spices even if we don't need them. I just like to. I, I love spices almost as much as I love tea, so I'm always buying them just in case. Um, two things of the low sodium taco seasoning. Um, these were 39 cents each. This is another thing I just want to keep in the pantry. Um, I got the skinny um, sandwich bread. I believe these were $1.99. Trying to like look back at my receipt real quick. Also got two things of honey wheat bread. These were 89 cents each as well as a thing of um, cinnamon raisin bagels. These were a dollar and some change also. Um, oh, also got two things of cream, cream corn because my kids want corn pudding. I'm gonna make that tonight. <laughs> so these were um, 49 cents as well. I got um, two cans of crushed pineapples. These were 95 cents each. And then two things of the mandarin oranges. Those were 85 cents. Okay, so down here I have two bags of sweet potatoes. Um, these are both three pounds each. One is for us and the other one is for our puppy Santiago. He loves roasted sweet potatoes. Also got a five pound bag of um, russet potatoes as well. This was $2 and some change. Um, and then let me go up here and show you the rest of the stuff. I got a 30 count of corn tortillas. Um, I picked up their green tea with lemon and ginseng. This is what I drank this morning. It's actually pretty good. I got some Cafe Bustillo. I could not believe this was at um, Aldi. This was $2 and some change as well. Um, so my son will drink that and I'll, and I'll taste it. <laughs> Remember I told you guys I'm trying to not drink coffee. Um, I got some chocolate chips for baking. This was a dollar and some change. There was no tissue whatsoever in any store that I went to, but you know what, I'm grabbing um, I'm grabbing alternatives just in case. We got some tissue um, in our closet upstairs, but just in case I need um, some backup emergency, I got two packs of these napkins. These were a dollar and 45 cent each. Let me go ahead to, around to the back and show you the rest of the stuff. All right guys, so you already know I love um, these um, Big Dipper corn tortilla chips for my salsa. This was like a dollar, no, actually I'm sorry. These were about um, 89 cents. Um, yeah. Also got a thing of the regular potato chips. These were 79 cents. And then a bag of the corn chips. Um, there was also a bag of the Aldi, um, Aldi brand, um, like, uh, Dorito nacho cheese chips too. Those were, all of the chips are like a dollar or less. So good to stock up on. Um, I got a thing of the Aldi, um, wheat crackers. I ate some of these last night. These are really good. This was a dollar 35. Um, I got two boxes, one box of the mixed berry fruit and grain soft bake bars and one of the strawberry. These were $1.35 as well. Um, my daughter likes these for her granola. She just crunches it up um, into her granola, um, likes it for her granola. She likes it for her yogurt. <laughs> so um, this was a dollar and some change also. Also got some trail mix. This was $2 and some change for this size bag. This is um, a 10 ounce. And this one is the cranberry and nut one. Um, they were all out of the regular pasta, which is absolutely fine because we like whole wheat pasta anyway. Um, and this is the Aldi whole wheat pasta. This is the organic um, Simply Nature. These were $1.09 each. I got two things of marinara sauce to keep in the pantry. These were $0.89. Cent. Um, speaking of marinara, guys, if you have not checked out my video, two videos prior to this, I show you how to make a homemade oven roasted marinara um, from scratch. Super, super simple. Check that out if you get a chance to. I got some, um, the organic uh, thick and chunky salsa. This is the mild one. 
This is not the one that I normally get. I normally go for the super cheap, <laughs> like 89 cent one to go with my tortilla chips, but they were out of that as well. But this wasn't that bad. This is like a dollar and some change. It wasn't bad at all. We always buy the um, Aldi um, olive oil. This is like um, $3.99, $4.99 for this. Not that much. Um, so we've been doing we've been doing a lot of um, baking since we've been in the house. And um, well, my daughter has been doing a lot of baking, so I wanted to keep my um, cabinet stocked with a bunch of baking essentials um, just to have on hand. So I picked up some um, baking cocoa. This is a dollar and some change as well. Um, she wanted this um, double chocolate muffin and quick bread mix. This was a dollar and some change. I got two things of the sweet and condensed milk. This was like, uh, I think 89 or 99 cent. It wasn't that much. And then I also got two things of the um, graham cracker pie crust. These were um, 89 cent also. And I just grabbed these in case somebody wanted to whip together a quick pie. <laughs> I used this this morning already. This is the wildflower honey. This was like $3.99. Um, I like to keep this in my cabinet for all of my teas. So, uh, oh, guys, I'm almost forgetting. <laughs> okay, so let me, let me, let me put you guys on to something real quick in case you did not know okay so aldi has the best wine ever okay like award-winning wine i'm not making that up like look it up they do <laughs> a lot of their wines have won multiple awards world worldwide so they have very very good wines for the low low okay so this is actually my favorite. I've tried um, several of their wines and I love all of them. Okay, so but this is their Winking Owl Sweet Red. I love this one. Um, I, I don't always find the Sweet Red in stock and I'll go to multiple Aldi's and this one is always the first one to sell out. It is delicious and it is $2.95, okay? $2.95 for a bottle and I promise you, if you grab the Sweet Red Winking Owl from Aldi, you will love it, okay? Come back in my comment section and let me know once you've tried it because it's so good. So I bought two bottles. Um, I can only drink a very small amount <laughs> of so wine. So here is my Walmart haul and then um, some of it is over there on the table. But for Walmart, I spent a total of one... 39.72 so let me go ahead and show you guys what i got from there real quick i'm gonna try to breeze through this because i just realized this video is already at 30 minutes <laughs> okay so i actually got two of these rotisserie chickens these were four dollars and fifty cent my greatest mistake from yesterday is that i did not buy um more of these like i said i got two I should have gotten at least four because even though there was restrictions on everything else in the store, they did not have a restriction on the rotisserie chicken. So I should have got more because as you know, you can um, use this for so many things, sandwiches, soups, um, salads, stock, you could cut it off the bone, shred it, whatever. So um, a mistake I definitely learned from, <laughs> a lesson learned. Um, I got a bag of coleslaw for some um, fish tacos. That was like a dollar and 77 cent. I got some pizza dough for if we decide to make some homemade pizza one day. Um, that was a dollar. I got a um, bunch of collard greens. This was two dollars and 88 cent. I'm actually going to be cooking this this evening. You'll see that a little bit later on. I got um, some smoked turkey wing. I, we like to put smoked turkey in our um, greens. This was four dollars and 54 cents. So that's going to go in my collard greens later. I got um, the 93.7 ground beef, and then also we love to buy this organic grass-fed. This one is 85.15. This was $5.46, and I believe this one was around um, $4 and some change. Um, we already um, opened up our tomatoes for some salad earlier. Um, I got some turkey burger patties. We normally don't buy that, but the meat department was so limited and I really just wanted to get some stuff into my freezer. So I picked this up. This was $3 and some change as well. I picked up some whipped topping because why not? <laughs> um, so some tilapia, this was $6 and some change. 
for two pounds. Um, this is also something that we normally don't buy, but gotta stop the freezer, guys. Get what you can. <laughs> get what you can while you can. Um, um, but get what you get. Also, but get what you actually are going to, you know, cook. Um, I got. Uh, let's see some um, cheese for pizza. I got these beer battered fish fillets. This was four dollars and some change. Also got some of the Walmart pizza. This is the pepperoni rise and crust. This pizza is two dollars and seventy five cent, and it is really amazing. This is like the best pizza, best frozen pizza. Um, we love to buy, uh, you know, for that price. Um, I got a thing of whole milk that we're going to use um, just to keep in the refrigerator for baking. Um, I don't know if I already mentioned it in this video, but we have been some baking fools. <laughs> we have been some baking fools the past um, uh, two weeks. And so if we have a recipe that calls for it, then I'll already have that in the refrigerator. Um, I picked up two of these great value um, apple juices. These were $1.44 for 96 ounces. Picked up some butter to bake, um, $2 and some change. Walmart has some like amazing ice cream. <laughs> we normally get the home style vanilla, but um, that was out, but they did have the sea salt caramel. This was a, this is $1.97. A lot of the great value ice creams are $1.97 for a pint and they are so good. My son does not like ice cream, so my daughter and I get to, um, you know, split this <laughs> and not have to worry about him um, eating any of it. So, and then let's see, the last thing I got that was cold is this um, Iberia Aloe Vera drink. My cousin Cassandra, hey Cassandra, because I know she watches my videos. She put me on to these last week and they are so good, guys. These are 98 cent. They're found like by your um by like the international food section. And this is a pineapple um aloe vera. Last week I tried the mango and the strawberry. They are so good. Oh my god, they are so good. They do have see right there, they have um aloe pulp in it. You are gonna get some bits of aloe. Um, like my cousin says, she just tries to convince herself that she's drinking like um, bits of pineapple <laughs> instead of it being the aloe. They do have a, a good amount of sugar in them. I'm not even going to lie on that. Um, so, but they are good. And, and I don't know if it's just in my head, but I feel great after I drink them too. So <laughs> these are delicious. I was only able to pick up one because, um, the store is kind of just out of stock on a lot of stuff. And then the last few items I got from Walmart, um, we picked these up to keep in the pantry. These are these were sixty three cents. Some spaghettis and um, pasta canned spaghettios, <laughs> canned spaghettios. Um, trying to keep my pantry um, stocked up with items just in case, guys. If we can't get out to the store, you know, I'd rather have something in here. Um, these are the Annie's. Um, we've never had these before, but they were a dollar, and I figured that'd be another um, item that we can keep in our pantry as well. I picked up this big, ooh, <laughs> this big bag of um, cereal. This is 50 ounces. Um, my son is mainly the only one that actually eats cereal, but every once in a while I get a little snackish and I eat some as well. And so these are like the, um, they're like the frosted, um, mini wheats. These are actually pretty good. So, um, can't wait till he opens it so that I can go ahead and take a, get a bowl as well. <laughs> I got some apple cider vinegar with the mother. <laughs> if you guys don't know, this stuff is so good for you um, and has so many amazing uses. So this is only $2 and some change. This is the one with lemon, organic, raw, unfiltered. This is really good. I have high blood pressure. I sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, because you really want to be careful with this, um, especially, you know, consuming it. Um, straight but sometimes if my blood pressure is up a little bit too high um, a little trick is just to take a little shot of this um, try not to get on your teeth that's the reason why because you don't want to damage your teeth too much but it's so good for so many things facial toner um, oh my goodness cleaning a lot of stuff so um, picked up a jar of Alfredo sauce this is what we're going to use for pizza 
okay, some cranberries. So, um, yeah, a bag of cranberries. We like to put this on salad. This was like $2 and some change as well. Um, I also got four cans of tuna. That was the max that you can get. And we love, to, we love tuna. So this is usually always in our pantry anyway. I got some um, graham crackers, but I dropped the ball because I did not get chocolate or marshmallows. We love oven s'mores. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, um, but we'll still snack on the graham crackers as well. I got some flour because like I said, we have been some bacon foods around here. I got to get it together. I just cannot be doing that. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get into these items right here. I did get some onions because I always like to have onions. I love to have fresh garlic, but I don't know if you guys follow me already on Instagram, but uh, my IGTV last week, I posted um, a ginger shot that I make for my family. And this is really, really great ginger. Um, is um, really good. It's an antiviral. Um, it is very, very powerful, especially during this season where all of the germs and everything is just traveling around. So this is a great way to protect yourself and your body, protect yourself, protect your body and protect your family. Um, what I do is I sometimes I'll juice the ginger along with everything, but um, recently I've just been grating it up and juicing, um, juicing a lemon and some pineapple and orange and um, making shots for my family. My kids, <laughs> they can't stand it because it's very but, strong. Yeah, ginger is amazing for helping your body warm up and, you know, fight that battle for you. So um, if you um, want to check out how to make a ginger shot, definitely um, follow me on Instagram or check out my Instagram and I have the video posted on there already. Um, I got some Simpler, more tea, which has the um, Gypsy Cold Care Throat Coat Echinacea Plus and then the Breathe Easy. And then this one is just only the Echinacea Plus. So got to get that in our system. Um, we have um, allergies over here like a mug. <laughs> so I picked up this 60 count of the Lorotidine. Um, I want to say this is the generic for, is it Claritin, I think? Um, a 60 um, tablets for $7.48. Um, we already opened this up. This was a two pack of Sparkle. That was all that they had. So um, I got that. That was uh, $2 and some change. Then I picked up a four pack of the dish cloths as well as a 18 pack of wash cloths just to keep for backup. So yep, that is my grocery haul. Now I got to put all this stuff back up. <laughs>